Before the screen, she scans the playground the third time. Her daughter sat there near the sandbox a moment ago. Now the slender oaks disappear. The cement and cedar planks ground in gravity spun sidelong. The hollow throb of a heart in a chest. A daughter's name tears open the afternoon. One face in a thousand spliced scenes. Photograph, memory, panic. Such vivid eyes and empty space. Her hands cupped into a megaphone. Lungs fill and empty and fill. And down a green slope, dappled in sunlight and crepe myrtles, a wooden pier patiently occupies the darkest corner in her mind. Number two, crepe myrtle. Lit green and lavender wander beneath her in the draped over space, nothing visible through the filtered sunlight, nothing beyond the latticework of now. The crepe myrtle does not discern a shift in gravity, cement, equilibrium. The slender oaks remain, partly ensconcing the burst of primary classic colors, partly muffling the serrated screen. She does not beckon the child. The wind stirs her panticles, which nature can configured to dance. No one blames the dew for its iridescence, the morning for its angled sun. And the crepe myrtle, the wooden pier, with the wind in its impatient lungs, each understands though the syntax eludes them. A moment only laces through the eyelet of everything else. And the three daughter. Cool cement and sand drains everything touch and sight and now. Wind through the crepe myrtles sends showers of crinkled violet into the air. She stumbles toward them and into the sunlight. Hands open for the blossoms. Each moment flutters without language, wreathing tethers from the seconds preceding this one, then stretched across her periphery. A silver photograph of the sky, in verse, creased endlessly by the wind. And with the clipped cries and white noise of playground receding, she constructs a threefold memory. Uneven footsteps on the wooden pier, a green nebula of algae, the enchanting burble of an aerator. Patience. The water does not swallow the child. It only stirs her silhouette and works inwards until the darkness fills her lungs.